Hey guys, how you doing? We're gonna do just like what I used to do in the good old days. You remember how um, I would read a Bible passage, get on the motorcycle, and then we'll talk about it. And um, now that I have, I got this little mini Bible, I'm gonna read something from it. And then we'll go do th just that. Okay. First, I'm gonna put my kickstand up. Listen to this. And we'll have a discussion on this. This will be a, you know, give me your feelings on this. I'm reading from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 4.20, and it says here, I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. In other words, don't hang out with them. It says, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous or extortioners, extortioners, or with idolaters, for then must ye needs go out of the world. In other words, he's saying, come out from among them. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator. Interesting. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, that means if they're saying they're a Christian or covetous, or an idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, with such an one know not to eat. You notice that. Now, um, okay, let's ride, but let me read one last thing. It says, but them that are without God judgeth. You see that? He's saying to judge and have discernment. Therefore, put away from among yourselves that wicked person. And then it says Deuteronomy 13.5, like, go read that also. So, what are they saying? Did not Jesus come and eat with sinners? He did, didn't he? Atheists will use that passage, fixing camera, as a... Well, you see, the Bible's contradicting itself. Well, let me correct my atheist friends that are naive about the Bible. It would help them if they'd read it rather than uh, cherry picking and then trying to take things out of context. So what does that mean to where it says not to, wait, hold on a second. That's a real hard, uh, <laughs> whenever I go off there, cause I have to turn the bike all to the right and there's like a big rut. Um, on one hand, you got Jesus that hung out with tax collectors, sinners, and hey, there's a motorcycle coming up behind me here. Uh, but then on the other hand, and this is in the New Testament, oh, it's like a scooter. Or oh, no, it's a um, nice bike behind me, silver or something. So what is it? Do we hang out with the sinners and the fornicators? Oh, it is a scooter. Let me let this guy pass. I don't want to get you good footage of this. Look at that. Look at that. I think that's a 260, though. Uh, it says 260 on the side. So you know how, like, you have, like, a Ninja 250? That's a uh, something 260. So, hold on. I'm getting distracted. So a lot of the atheists will say, well, then, well, Jesus hung out with them and stuff. Because what will happen is, let's say you got an atheist friend in his mouth. He's always disrespecting God, and he's calling Jesus the zombie in the sky you know how they do and all this stuff and yet you're like you know what I can't hang out with you anymore man it's like you're just like disgusting you know your mouth is filthy and stuff they'll bring up well Jesus hung out with sinners well let me correct what who Jesus hung out with let me tell you who Jesus hung out with the Bible says not to hang out with them not to uh, have you know sit down with dinner with them and all this come out from among them is what it says so did Jesus hang out with all sinners no he did not he did not you guys some of you guys that have uh, friends that are like very anti-christian and stuff you're not gonna like what I gotta say but Jesus says not to hang out with them now Jesus hung out with people that were pro Jesus he didn't hang out with anybody that were disrespecting him or anti-Jesus. Let me prove it to you. Remember when Jesus goes into the temple, and here's all these people, they're supposed to be all religious and, you know, pious, and they're 
basically selling all types of things uh, in the temple, and they've turned it into like a business rather than a house of God. You know, nothing wrong with business, but they were more focused on the business than the house of God. Jesus made a whip, oh yes he did, and he started whipping the people and overturning, he was, he did property damage, is what he did. And he can do whatever he wants, he's God. He did not go ahead and he was not friends with those people. The Pharisees, you know the Pharisees that were always accusing Jesus and everything, and they were supposed to be the righteous, holy people of the time? You know what, Jesus was not friends with them either. He called them a brood of vipers, snakes. Now, there was uh, Nicodemus. <clears throat> there was uh, one leader of the Jews that actually was kind to Jesus, pro-Jesus, and Jesus did talk to him. So we see Jesus separating the sheep from the goat, so to speak, and he did not uh, go around and pal around, uh, you know, with people that were anti-Jesus. Now, Judas betrays Jesus, and Jesus was not silent about it. He, even in front of all the disciples, he said, hey, look, one of you is going to betray me. So he made a point of pointing out Judas. He even says it's Judas, the one who I dipped the bread in, in the, you know, water. It was Judas. He pointed out the one that was hostile to Jesus Christ. He did not talk very <laughs> kind about Judas. You know, one of you is a devil. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you my opinion on this because I see a lot of it on YouTube where, uh, you know, people that are Christians, they focus more on making friends because you know how when you're on YouTube, you do add a friend and all that. Um, and they're Christians, and they put that like higher priority than, you know, preaching the gospel. But for me, like, um, if I'm on YouTube, here's how I, I'm just telling you how I work as a Christian. I don't want to be uh, hanging out with people that are hostile to Jesus Christ. It doesn't honor Jesus Christ, and Jesus wouldn't do it either. Every person that Jesus hung out with that was a sinner, which were all sinners, but they were pro-Jesus, you guys. you got to understand that. They were not calling Jesus a zombie in the sky, a homosexual. They weren't calling him that. Another thing, I'm going to show you something also. Even when Jesus was dying in the flesh on the cross... Hold on, i got to get over here. There was one thief that was hurling insults at Jesus, very disrespectful. Jesus said, zip, nada, zilch. He didn't say, he didn't even open his mouth to speak to that guy, because that guy was a total jerk. But the other thief that was kind to Jesus, and you know what the other thief did? He stood up for Jesus Christ, and he even rebuked the other thief. That's the thief Jesus talked to. So, if you guys, are, <laughs> if some of you believe that Jesus was just friends with all sinners and everybody, he was not. He was friends to the sinners that respected him. And that's my motto. If you want respect, you give respect. And and I don't care about you respecting me, but if you respect Jesus Christ, then I'll respect you. If you disrespect Jesus Christ, you ain't getting no respect from me. Plain and simple. I don't care to be your friend. I'm not here on YouTube to make friends. I made lots of them, but I'm here to go ahead and put Jesus Christ first. I'm not worried about, uh, you know, friendships and my little friendships that I have and my little cliques and stuff. So, you guys that are hanging out with Satanists, witches, pagans, and all these guys, atheists, that are all very disrespectful of Jesus and saying disrespectful things, you read the passage, come out from among them. Glorify Jesus Christ and come out from among them. Now, if I'm talking to someone and they're not disrespecting Jesus Christ, yet they're not a Christian, of course I'll go ahead and talk to that person because they're not hostile to Christianity. But when they're a jerk, that's what the block button is for. <laughs> um, but those people that have honest questions, I'll be friends with them. But for those of you that are hanging out with these very disrespectful, disrespectful excuse me, people that talk about Jesus Christ, 
You know what the Bible says, come out from among them and separate yourself from them. 